Welcome back to Old War Stories with Uncle Jay. Well, it's been a minute. Oh yeah, been a long time since I've been able to record videos out here in the original spot. It's a nice day, a little cloudy, a little sunny, back and forth, you know, all that. You can hear the sounds of summer in the background. And the best part is this is going to be released in the summer while it's summer. So that's totally awesome. All right, anyway, this one is entitled Homemade Waterfall. I had to be, we're going to say five or six. That would bring us about 1984, 85, somewhere in there. And I was obviously at my parents' house. Um, we had swing sets in the backyard, my sister and I. We had two, actually. One of them was the original one and it was white with like green and brown stripes on the poles which was totally like 70s uh don't know if my dad bought that brand new or if he got it from a, a co-worker or, or or something i i honestly don't know but anyway he erected that thing it was all tubular steel construction and that was that and it had a little swing on it and then I had the things that you could hold the the rings that you could hold and swing on that and I had like a little seesaw kind of thing that would swing back and forth so not really a seesaw but it sort of swung back and forth and maybe one other thing I can't remember and then we had another one this one was sort of orange and blue and that one was put up in addition to the original one that we had. So that was kind of nice. We had two of them. Uh, and I don't know. We sort of like, we didn't outgrow the first one with the stripes on it. But the second one just seemed a little bit more fun. It had a little bit different stuff on it. And I can't remember what it was. But we had a separate slide. Now, they have swing sets and kids play things for the backyard and they're all plastic and shit and you get the I want the one with the red slide and then five years from then when the kid is still playing on it it's a pink slide because red fades in the sun and bad looks great out of the box but that's that uh, this was metal it was all the, the slide itself was like galvanized sheet metal stamped metal frame metal steps the entire thing was metal where it came from no idea no clue whatsoever so i i, I got this idea i don't know i sort of I, I had this thing where i used to play with the garden hose in the backyard and i've sort of touched upon this story in god only knows what video of <coughs> these various hoses that i had and the story was there were five sizes there was a number five which would only fit onto a number four i just numbered them because you know it, that was the best way to tell them apart i didn't know the diameters of them so the number five hose uh, number four would fit into but the five wouldn't fit on the garden hose the four however would fit if you had no nozzle on the end of the garden hose you could jam it in there and it would fit in there and then you can plug a number five in and get a bigger outlet or you can plug a number three in and get a smaller outlet and a number two and a number one um that's neither here nor there but the one thing i did learn just recently as a matter of fact that all of these hoses were leftover, or I don't know if I should say leftover, they were surplus, well, I probably shouldn't say surplus, they were old IBM parts. I never knew that these were stocked by IBM back in the day. And what were they for? Think of the old sci-fi movies with those big tape drives with the reels on that spinning around zipping back and forth doing all that crazy stuff yeah they were real they were in operation and they could store things like your social security your bank account all that kind of stuff 
big businesses like that would have huge servers with all that big classic equipment like that when they started computerizing their stuff that's what was around you had a mainframe you had all that stuff those hoses were used for either air pressure or vacuum in those machines and here I was as a kid playing with them as if they're just any old hose but no they were classic pieces of computing technology that I never knew of my dad just told me about that recently so that was kinda cool anyways we had this slide we also for some reason happened to have in the backyard a big bucket and I had these rocks I don't know what kind of rocks they were they were about yay big kinda pointy they were not a nice smooth stone they were like just kinda jagged rocks all around this size kind of type deal can't really explain it they were like a bluish gray and one day I had somehow gotten something that I saw somewhere how and where I got it from I don't know what this was was if you go to the grocery store and you buy bottled water first off don't buy bottled water Secondly, if you buy bottled water, they would sell them in the one-gallon jugs, or they probably shrunk them now. But anyways, they also would sell a two-and-a-half-gallon jug that would go in your fridge. So it had sort of a section here, a section on the back, and a middle section which had a handle on it. And it also had a pull spout at the bottom. So the idea is you'd put it like on the top shelf of your fridge, and put it in there, you'd take your water glass, <laughs> which wouldn't be full, pull the thing, the water would come out of it, fill your glass up, push it back in, and that was it. And there was a little indentation at the top, and embossed in the plastic, it would say, pierce here, and that was to allow water in. I, somehow, I got one of these things. I, I don't know how. Somebody threw it out, I, I don't know. And I hooked up my number four and my number three and whatever hoses I did and somehow routed it into this bottle and then pulled the spout and the rocks I placed on the slide going up. And I turned the water on and I made a homemade waterfall. Was it anything that would even hold a candle to the kind of stuff that they create these days as far as these ritzy people who have this stuff in their backyard no was it ghetto and redneck damn right it was was it awesome for me being that young fuck yeah absolutely but I made it out of things laying around or things I could get my hands on there was no cost involved, and finally my parents said, okay, take that shit off of there. And then I had to take all the rocks and put them back in the bucket. And then... But it was cool while I had it. And it would take a while to set up to get the water to flow just right. So it was like this whole thing. And I was, again, I, I've touched upon this in the past. There I was as a kid. I wasn't there... on my phone playing a game texting doing bullshit anything like that no I was outside in the real world playing and learning how things in the world worked and I had the inspiration to create that and I did and then I had to take it down and I did and the swing sets ultimately were I think my dad gave them to co-workers of his who had kids, something like that, and they got use out of them, and whatever ultimately happened, if they rusted out or, or what, I don't know. But that was it. I, I, remember, I remember also being on that uh, first swing set with the stripes on it, the green and brown stripes, on the little seesaw thing that would go back and forth. And being on that... And then my mother would come out with Hawaiian Punch. And they sold it in a can. 
Not this sh stupid plastic shit that they have today, but it used to come in a can. And you needed something, you know, one of those can opener punch things that you punch a hole in each side and then you could pour it. And we always had as a kid these little shit glasses. We never really had glasses like this big. And don't mind if I do. We had these little glasses. They were like this big. And there were some green ones. Green glass. One had like stars on it. Little stars. Another one had dots on it. Just like molded into the glass. And they were like wavy. Like an hourglass shape kind of thing. Something like that. And these little shit glasses like that. And she poured the Hawaiian punch. And I remember being on the thing. My sister and I with the Hawaiian punch and the little green glass. And damn it was nice. I didn't have to worry about anything in life when I was a kid. But it's strange because all we ever want to do as a kid is grow up. Because we're going to have everything when we grow up. And yeah, I mean, I have everything. I got a house, I have cars, I have money, I have everything that you'd aspire to earn in life uh, or, or get in life, depending on the circumstances. I have everything. And I'm not unhappy about that. But what I don't have is my childhood innocence and the ability to not have to worry about things. Uh, don't know when this video is coming out in relation to things, but I think by now, yes, by now you would have seen part seven of the pool opening series for 2022 where the pump died. Well, that pump died. Um, fixing it, I had two choices. I could fix it myself or I could call somebody for them to come in and charge way too much money to do shoddy work which is probably how the original wiring was done uh, is my work shoddy is it the best no it's not the best but it certainly isn't shoddy in any way shape or form uh, papers are blowing around here so anyway uh, I don't you know as a kid if something like that broke daddy would fix it because daddy knew how and I would watch daddy fix it and I learned and when the pump broke, I knew that the burden of fixing it was on me. Now, fortunately, at this point in time, my dad's still around. He's fully functional. He's perfectly fine. He's rather spry for his age. And I just saw him today, as a matter of fact. Uh, but uh, anyways, um, it, it was, uh, you know, something that sort of has been, it's my responsibility now. I have to fix it or call somebody and I don't want to call somebody. I don't want to fix it myself. <laughs> I mean, I do because it'll be done right, but as a kid, I didn't have to worry about it. So now I do. And that was one of the downsides of growing up. Didn't know that that was going to get, uh, was going to be something that I would have to ever dream about doing. So the innocence is gone. I'm certainly not guilty, but I'm definitely not innocent. We'll put it that way. <laughs> Anyways, uh, just kind of an interesting thing like that. But yes, uh, again, I was outside learning how the real world worked. And uh, I'm grateful for that in that we didn't have gadgets and gizmos. Now, I had a computer. I have an IBM PC Jr., and I was on this thing all the time. All the time. But sometimes it was time to turn the computer off and go outside. And do stuff outside. And experience the world for what it is, rather than the microcosm that is your phone. Stay off your damn phone. Live life to the fullest in the moment. That's all I have for you this time. Thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Make sure you click like, make sure you click subscribe, and take care. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.